Hi everyone, welcome to RCV Model Mart. Let's see what we've got in store today. Hi everyone, Model Mark here again. Today, uh, a little bit different, got a package come in. This is actually a free trial from Banggood. They've been kind enough, I was lucky enough to win the free trial offer that comes under the VIP section. So, uh, let's have a look, see what it is. Okay, so, first, first time ever doing the free trial for Banggood. Hopefully if I'm lucky enough there will be more. It's Nice to get something to uh, come along to try for free. And here we have one brushless motor. This is actually the Race Star, Racer Star uh, motor that's the equivalent and fits in the Phoenix 2400. So perfect with what I've been doing recently with all the Phoenix work. I'll have this as an optional motor to go into the Phoenix. So usual usual box nice and easy long life Japanese NMB ball bearings efficient Japanese Kawasaki stator steel rare earth magnets all sorts of stuff so let's open it up and here we go so first off prop adapter I'm told that these work really well on a 12 by 8 folding prop, certainly on the Phoenix. Uh, I've got a 12.6 in at the moment, so I'll be able to try it with that. Okay, this is what we've got in the shaft here. I'll just check the overall length of that. So that's 41.7, 41.5 millimetres. And it's got a five and a half millimeter diameter shaft. I'm pretty sure that's the same as the, the Phoenix motor. So let's stretch it out. This one is an 850 kilowatt engine. And there we see BA4023 and 850 kilowatts pleased about that. So 4023 is exactly the same as the Volantex motor that comes with the Phoenix. Um, all the sizes of this should be the same so it should be a direct fit into the Phoenix but it's an 850 kilowatt rather than a 1050 kilowatt. So a little bit slower per volt therefore you can put a bigger prop on. Um, and it sounds like this works really really well in the Phoenix so well worth well worth a look nice motor check the shaft diameter yeah 3.96 so 4 millimeter shaft again exactly the same as the Volantex engine we can double check all the sizes, but yeah, so it should be a, a 40, 40, 23, and we've got fraction over 40, the diameter of the motor. Don't know where they're taking the 23 from, but it's it's not that big. The the main case in there is 20. Sure they can come up with something and the mounting just to be sure it's the same as Phoenix 28.8 with a whole center of 19 and a half fraction under nine 19 maybe but it certainly looks exactly the same as the Phoenix engine it's just lovely bright red colour, it's got the connectors on to go to your ESC really smart, really smart looking motor 
and we see on it Racer Star as the as the manufacturer. So these these are on Banggood. Available is both the 850 and the 1050 in the Racer Star version. I'll put links at the at the bottom for you. Usual affiliate links with Banggood. Um, the 850 currently on the date this video is showing in stock and it's on sale at £17.76 that's GB pounds and for shipping to the UK is 40p the 1050 is exactly the same price with 43p shipping so the 1050 is 3p more shipping than the 850 for whatever reason and that's the usual Banggood Express so it's, it's usually about 10 days, so say 8 to 12 but it is usually 10 so really good shipping and uh, this has come pretty quick as I say this was in the offer where you say um, you'd like to win a free trial and for things like this it's in your favour if you do plenty of reviews answer questions on Banggood, things like that and they give you this opportunity so they've sent me this for free because I I won that opportunity and hopefully this review has been helpful to show you the motor certainly in most cases I would expect people would want to use this in the Phoenix models particularly the, uh, the 2400 mine's coming on really well now it's pretty much finished um, and ready to go it's well set up what I'm currently working on at the moment just for a little sneak peek is this this is the bottom half of the box, it's about to have the top go on. This is an Arduino 33 BLE uh, and this will act as the head tracker. So the other end of this wire goes in the trainer port on your transmitter. The red button is to reset, that's a momentary touch switch. That resets to zero. Power out the front, that will go into the same battery as my FPV goggles. And then on the Phoenix body, I've got a FPV transmitter built into the bottom of the canopy and a fairly nice and easy two axis um, pan and tilt unit on here. Two, two little 9 gram servos and a rather nice Fox Ear. FPV camera which is an absolutely beautiful picture off that so that's ready as soon as the Arduino is finished off I'll put the link to this as well uh, brilliant idea on um, RC groups so you only need the one board and a couple of soldering connections to do your full hair tracker the Arduino's got the compass and the six axis gimbal um, six axis gyro all built in so a few wires, set it up in your in your radio gear, and you're good to do your your pan and tilt. It does three axis as well. So if you've got one of these that does pan, tilt, and roll, it will handle that as well, and really configurable. So looking forward to that. Nearly done. Should be all ready to go in the next couple of days. Um, very impressive bit of kit. Okay, so that was just a sneak peek into that. I hope this has been useful, the review of the motor. As and when I get the chance, once I've done a bit of flying with the Phoenix, I'll bring it back in, swap the engine for this one, so I can do a direct comparison of the two. But for now, uh, it's pretty clear it's the same size, it's going to fit perfectly. Just need a slightly larger prop. So I'll, I'll get a... Um, 12.8 prop in for this try it with that and it should do great okay so there you go I hope that's been useful links for everything at the bottom don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye bye